Here are five apps that you should check out to help boost productivity. The first app on the list is Raycast, and it's a spotlight replacement-like app similar to Alfred but with a ton of deep app integrations. There's actually so many apps that it has its own app store to download those various integrations. You can actually do all of the standard commands that one would normally do inside of Spotlight, like launch apps, search for files, even use the built-in calculator functionality. But then once you start to add apps like Spotify or Things or Slack or whatever it might be, the functionality becomes much more efficient. You can take advantage of those app-specific features inside of Raycast, all from just a few clicks of the keyboard. And so this app is actually completely free to use for personal use, but there is a paid Teams version coming soon if you're interested in that. Speaking of launching apps, not every service you use has a dedicated Mac app or sometimes the web app is a better product. And so if you just want quick and easy way of launching web apps on your computer, I highly recommend Web Catalog. Downloading Web Catalog gives you a new web app store to install whatever shortcuts you want, like Twitter, Instagram, Google Docs, YouTube, Netflix, and so much more. Then your new apps become searchable inside of Spotlight or Raycast if you decide to download that. And they can be added to the dock, they can be seen in Launchpad, etc. It opens up its own window so that you don't clog up Safari tabs or have Safari windows open. And it kind of makes it feel like it's its own application. And it's the perfect way to add some services to your Mac and launch into them more efficiently. This next one should help Windows users make the transition over to Mac OS a little bit easier as Alt Tab aims to deliver that Windows style way of switching between apps or viewing which windows are open instead of this cool thumbnail preview panel. And all of your apps or windows of a specific app are available to quickly glance at. There are loads of custom options and settings, but for me, I use option tab as a way to view what windows are open in this nice thumbnail view that I mentioned before, or option tilde brings up all of the windows of a specific application. Highly recommend checking this one out, especially if you're a longtime Windows user. This might help you make that transition. Monitor control is next up, and this is specifically used for one thing for me and most likely for you if you decide to download it, and that's control brightness sliders or the keyboard uh, shortcuts for brightness control for monitors that don't support that inside of Mac OS. So if you're looking for a quick way to adjust your monitor's brightness, maybe you wanna do a slider inside of the menu bar, or maybe you just wanna use the keys, you can do that for unsupported monitors, like the ones that I just recently featured, specifically the Dell UltraSharp 27 inch 4K monitor. And so this is a perfect utility for that. And finally, the last app on the list is CleanShot X, and it's the only app that costs money on this list, but I do think it's worth it for those who wanna take a lot of screenshots and want way more functionality. CleanShot X can be a monthly subscription, or you can just make a one-time purchase for $29. It gives you loads of tools and customization settings for screenshots with a very helpful editor that can do a lot of extra features like blur out portions of a screenshot, quickly add arrows or different types of shapes or drawings, you know, freehand drawing if you want to. You can crop the screenshot, even pin that screenshot to your desktop to quickly glance at whenever you need it. To really take full advantage, I recommend setting this up as a replacement for the current macOS settings. That way, keyboard shortcuts remain the same as macOS default settings, and there's so many different options to mess around with, and you can help take your screenshot game to the next level with CleanShot X. Of course, let me know in the comments down below which app you liked from this list, if any, or if there's an app that you think we should check out, let me know which app down in those comments. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.